Welcome back in our top business story. The International Monetary Fund is not seeking more funds from Gulf Arab oil exporters to bolster its resources, the IMF's Deputy Managing Director Nemat Shafig said. He added that the region faces no major danger from the Eurozone debt crisis. The IMF therefore hadn't asked the Gulf states to help bail out debt-laden Eurozone countries. The statements were made during the 91st GCC Financial and Economic Committee meeting, which was held in Abu Dhabi this weekend. The finance leaders also discussed the way forward for further economic development as well as the reformation of global financial systems and markets. And officials revealed that the GCC Customs Union is on track for the end of 2014-2015 with a customs authority to be set up by mid-2012. Abu Dhabi's government-owned tourism development and investment company cancelled a tender related to the construction of the Guggenheim Museum. The master developer of major tourism destinations in Abu Dhabi informed its contractors that it was reviewing its procurement strategy and will for the time being not be awarding contracts. This work will be retendered at a future date and all renewed interest from contractors will be welcome, TDIC said in an email statement. In March, contractors submitted bids for a 400 million dirham package. The bidders included UAE's Al Habtour Leighton Group and Dubai builder Arabtech. The UAE and Australia discussed the possibility of manufacturing and re-exporting automobile products. The UAE Minister of Economy, His Excellency Sultan Al Mansouri, and Steve Brax from Australia's Envoy for Automotive Industry discussed ways to strengthen their cooperation in the automotive products industry. Australia confirmed its desire to cooperate with the UAE in the cars industry as it sees it as a gateway to the Middle East. Meanwhile, Mansouri praised the UAE's strength as a major re-exporter, pointing to the possibility of re-exporting Australian products related to the automobile in the sector. Consumer prices in the UAE rose a marginal 0.1% in September from a year ago and climbed 0.4% from August, the National Bureau of Statistics said. And let's now look at the stock markets here in the UAE and across the GCC. In our world business news, French President Nicolas Sarkozy and German Chancellor Angela Merkel held urgent talks in Brussels in a last-ditch effort to stamp out a two-year-old financial crisis that, that threatens to tip the world into a recession. The meeting is aimed at trying to break the deadlock between the two countries in a disagreement over how best to scale up the European Financial Stability Facility, the 440 billion euro emergency rescue fund set up last year. France favours turning the EFSF into a bank so that it could access European Central Bank funds, potentially providing it with unlimited liquidity. However, Germany opposes the idea, which the European Commission also says would probably violate EU treaty rules. We've had a 10-hour meeting, but we have made real progress and we have come to important decisions on strengthening European banks that is just one part of the package and obviously there's more work to do and Britain will be keeping up the pressure over the next couple of days, including tomorrow at the European Council, to get the comprehensive package, to resolve the European crisis uh, and the crisis in the Eurozone and make sure that we get growth and jobs across the European continent. That is in everyone's interest and it's certainly in Britain's interest too. Search engine giant Google is considering providing financing for an acquisition of Yahoo by another company or a group of bidders, as Google is said to have nearly $43 billion in cash and short-term investments. Yahoo is shifting its strategy after firing former CEO Carol Bartz, who was ousted partly because Yahoo failed to keep pace with Google in the online advertising market. As to the reasons why Google may lend its financial support to Yahoo bidders, Analysts believe Google wants to preserve Yahoo as a rival and bolster competition in the internet industry. Firms looking into Yahoo acquisition are said to be Alibaba Group, as well as private equity companies KKR and Blackstone. And also Microsoft is said to be looking at providing financing.
Staying with Microsoft, it reported a 6% quarterly profit jump thanks to strong sales of its Office package and a slight increase in sales of its flagship Windows operating system. The news comes just days after Intel also announced strong results, providing evidence personal computer sales may not be as weak as some had feared. In fact, Microsoft said the PC market grew between 1 and 3 percent in its fiscal first quarter. According to research firm Gartner, global PC sales rose just over 3 percent last quarter, much of that coming from emerging markets like China. Windows 8, which represents the company's push into the tablet market, is set to hit next year. Before we go, here's a quick overview of the oil, precious metals and currency markets. And after that, we have the day's sports news for you.